I think it's time for another. Yeah, it's your turn, right? Is it? Yes, it is. Ah. As you can tell, we eat lots of fortune cookies. I don't know if you did. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this one says, live your beliefs and you can turn the world around. That is a cool one. I agree. Because our beliefs about ourselves and the world around us are so important, and it's why we have to take such good care of our thoughts. Yeah, sometimes we react to false evidence. And we start to create stories and beliefs about the world around us or about ourselves that simply aren't true. It's true. But there are lots of different ways out there to help us change perspectives on things. And one of those things is actually magic. A lot of psychologists and scientists, brain scientists, are looking into how magic affects the brain. And it can actually completely rewire your thinking process, if you let it. This is true. Now, Anthem and I have been working with some linguistic experts and uh, some psychologists to piece this piece of magic together for you. And if you allow your eyes to believe what they see, perhaps you might see why. <laughs> That's right. Our lives are like a single strand of red silk. It has a beginning and it has an end. And in the middle is our story from our perspective. We can choose to see it as a bundle of knots or as it is a miracle. Now in this big beautiful world as this uh, red silk shall represent is our threads, <coughs> our stories. They're all bound together like a patchwork of energy and experience. But some of these stories that bind us together can spread through our society like a wildfire and tie us in knots that prevent us from becoming our highest selves. Stories like, I'm not smart enough. I'm not beautiful enough. My life isn't going anywhere. I can't change now. Right. And it starts with just a single knot on a single thread. But because we're all so connected, we get caught up in each other's knots and each other's stories. But if we start to look within and realize that we are all just a mirror to the outside world, we can start to change our story and melt these knots away like magic. Now, think of something that's holding you back. A knot in your story that's interrupting the real story that you were born to live. Focus that feeling on this knot. Feel that tension, that urgh, that tension, and let it build up around your breath. Focus all of that on this knot. Let that knot become that feeling. Now, when you're able to let go of these knots and that charge, that chain starts from within, the world begins to reflect that. And then, when you're able to do that, you can let it go. And that is the real magic. <laughs> Give yourself a <laughs> It's amazing how it feels so good to just let that tension go. And you can do this at any time. You can do it with breathing exercises. You can do it with meditation. There are thousands of ways to do it. So it's always best to find what works for you. That's right. Uh, one of our ways is actually a box of wisdom. And it's my turn. 